Hello everyone and welcome back to Prisma Chats. Today I will be interviewing myself about my experiences here at Prisma where I am currently doing my internship. So without further ado, let me introduce myself. I am both your host and today's interviewee, Nika Music, the current marketing associate intern. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So as a little bit of an introduction about what I do, I am Nika, the marketing associate intern here at Prisma, a Berlin-based tech company. Throughout this internship, I've been doing a lot of social media work. I've been doing content creation for all social media channels. I have been creating strategies for each of those channels and also generally for the company. I have been attempting to acquaint myself with and understand our target audience, and I've been doing a lot of updating on social media, specifically on YouTube. So I think it's a lot of fun, and it's way better than I expected it to be. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about where I am right now and all the really valuable skills that I've learned. So. That's my little introduction. I did a couple internships in the field of public relations and marketing because I specialized in that during my bachelor's studies. And I recently graduated actually from my uh, Master of Arts program in the Netherlands where I studied media studies with a specialization in digital cultures. Which going into the tech industry was something I really wanted to do. I found I would simply have the most fun doing something that I'm genuinely interested in and observing mostly tangible technological things, but also intangible ones like what Prisma is. It doesn't exactly exist in real life, like this microphone or this webcam that I'm doing this on, but it does have a huge impact on the way people behave with their databases, how much time it takes and how simplified it is. Coming back to my point, I've wanted to work in the tech industry based on my studies and figuring out where all of this is going to go. I'm really interested in how technology affects different sectors of society, how it affects the way we live our everyday lives, how the concept of currency and uh, decentralization of structures, how that is changing, how our identities, attention spans change, all of, all of that. So I got started at Prisma in July this year. Right after I finished with my MA, I was working here for about a month until I moved to Berlin and now I'm here and really enjoying it. So I wasn't expecting to, to be this prepared for a job fresh out of university. So Prisma's company environment, for example, was something I wasn't exactly expecting because in you know, my past experiences, it wasn't like since day one that I was trusted with things. So from day one at Prisma, I had responsibilities and I was being asked for feedback. I think Prisma is pretty unique at the fact that it's very supportive and provides plenty of positive reinforcement. I work in the developer relations team and I really feel like each and every one of them, they are absolutely keen to help, to listen. And that's what I like most about working here is that I I like to work in a team. I always feel like with my with my team, everyone can give me their unique insights and that's the thing I would never take for granted. That feedback coming from everyone and learning from all these people around me. I would say that it is organization. So I used to praise myself with how well I could organize my day back in uni. But setting boundaries with how much I work on a specific task, like if I don't want to spend all day on something, that isn't pressing. So putting up enough diversity in my day is something that's really important to me. 
on my other thing that I've learned how to do is to not try to figure everything out by myself and to ask for help. Enjoying all the things that I can absorb from my teammates and also that they are there to help. So Because I came from a university environment where you would do everything alone, it wasn't the kind of structure that you're working with others. I mean, of course, I had group work and all, but it was mostly independent. And being in that space for two years kind of got me used to working by myself. But it's really amazing to have like a a team of people that you feel like really got your back so I think I'm really really lucky with that and I'm really glad that I learned this because I figured out that I want to work with people yeah my biggest challenge currently is work-life balance actually I feel like that's a problem for a lot of people that are either working students or just entering the labor market that also comes with moving to a whole new country where I don't know the language fluently and moving around a lot and just simply getting used to a whole new environment meant that if I wasn't working, then I would be just trying to make sense of my surroundings and what's happening around me. I feel like now that I've gotten a home and feel really comfortable in this company and feel more comfortable in Berlin, I can start overcoming this challenge with baby steps. There's a lot of things that I like that I've already mentioned before, such as working in a team and that feedback loop. But I feel like being actually appreciated, getting concrete feedback, being told exactly what you can improve on, what can be written differently. Like it's way more concrete and practice focused than it is about, okay, well, this is the feedback you got and now you can't really do anything about it. Above all else, I would say that what I like about working at Prisma the most is having this sense of belonging. So I have felt welcome here since day one, actually even before I started. But on my first day, we have our internal Slack channel. I felt so welcome. Everyone was so warm, sending me messages like, if you need something, feel free to ping me. Yeah, and Prisma is big competition company culture-wise for the entire tech industry. It's really uncommon that a company works this hard to have their employees feel this accommodated. So I'm so happy about that. (laughs) <laughs> and to be part of this because now my standards as as to what kind of company I want to work for it's not going to go lower than this <laughs> like they need to respect me in the same level or more and that's a pretty darn difficult thing to surpass i think so those are the things that i like most My most exciting project is something that I'm working on right now in this very moment. Yeah, I like, uh, I like to create videos. It is a lot of work and, but I created my series. Yeah, which is what you guys are watching right now. So this is something that I'm really, really excited about, mostly because it's the project that I received, I think, the least help on of course i received help from my teammates and i received a lot of feedback but my team really trusted me from beginning to end with this so with coming up with the idea with the conceptualization of the series with recording the videos editing the videos and then actually seeing all of this come together with the least help i've gotten in the past with all my projects. I'm I'm still very thankful for everyone that gave me feedback and was helping me with my audio and video. Th- this is by far my most exciting project. But other than that, I really enjoyed creating the Women Worldwide website. I was editing it using pull requests. It was my first time using GitHub. I felt so hacker many. <laughs> it was really, really exciting. And it was also felt like combining activism with my job which is really a gift it's about women in the tech industry and 
I, I really enjoyed being part of that because this is absolutely something that I stand for and I'm really, really happy that that's something that Prisma stands for as well. So, yeah. Women in tech, check it out. <laughs> Very happy with my journey here and um, I can't wait to see what new projects I do. The next. It's plain and simple. There's going to be a learning curve. Sometimes you're going to feel so overwhelmed by all these terms, all these acronyms, all these unfamiliar things. But what I always do when I enter an unfamiliar situation is think about the last time I entered an unfamiliar situation. So let's say that was um, the first day of my master's. I had no idea where I was going, what I was doing, but within a month, I felt native in it. I felt at home with it. So this kind of stuff happens all the time with anything that's unfamiliar and new. And you got this. <laughs> so I entered this industry with no knowledge about what Prisma is, what ORMs are. I essentially didn't know much about the industry itself and about the product that I am representing. But... This is what I learned in the past three months the most about, actually. So don't be too hard on yourself if you don't get it immediately. You need to have patience and you need to trust the process and take it day by day. Do with that what you want. This is my last question. So I am ending it on this cute note. This was it. Yeah, this was my self-interview. I hope you learned something uh, that wasn't necessarily about engineering. And I hope that someone out there is watching that is in my field or in a non-technical field that's looking to get a job or an internship in the tech industry. It's all a journey. So for those of you watching at home, I hope you found some of this useful. I hope you learned something. I hope that I may have inspired some of you. This is goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next Prisma Chats. Bye-bye.